Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Fighting Simulator, and spoiler alert, that's only part of the title. It's only part because the full title of the game is, brace yourself, Fighting Simulator 2-in-1 Flying Warriors. And while we unpack that title, it gets even more confusing, but we'll touch on that in the next paragraph. For now, let's focus on the middle part, 2-in-1. Usually when you see that, it means two different games on the same cartridge, but in this case, it's more advertising that the game features two styles of gameplay, side-scrolling beat-em-up and 1v1 fighter. And I don't mean to poo-poo that, it is impressive, but those two seem like the genres that are easiest to have in the same game. Eh, I shouldn't complain. I've been grooving on Street Fighter 6 for months. I'm always down for a fighting game. But let's get into the backstory. Fighting Simulator is part of a long-running franchise of fighting games called Hiryu no Ken, aka Fist of the Flying Dragon, created by Culture Brain. It started as an arcade game in 1985 that immediately started confusing things with alternative names, such as Shanghai Kid, Flying Dragon the Secret Scroll, and Ultimate Fighter. It had some interesting mechanics, such as pointing out enemy weak spots while trying to defend your own, but never really broke out popularity-wise, which probably explains why Hiryu no Ken Gaiden, released in 1990 for the Game Boy, got a totally new name and design when being ported to the US, playing up the combo of beat-em-up and fighting games. Hey, combo, I didn't even mean to make that pun. The box art is good lord what is happening on here! Wow, they are not kidding about fighting. They just decided to cram every fight style they could onto here, along with a superhero in the corner just for good measure. By the way, gorgeous tiger suplex. How well does this simulate fighting anyway? Gloves on for Fighting Simulator. Oh, just uh, right into story then. Mountain of the Dragon. There's a legend that a treasure medallion is hidden in this mountain. Oh, okay. The desperate battle for this medallion will now begin. Okay. Thank you for the story, Culture Brain. I appreciate it. Ooh. That sounds good. Yeah, Fighting Simulator 2-in-1 Flying Warriors. Push start, DM, and etc, etc, etc. Let's do some fighting. Oh, what? Oh, I assume this is the 1v1 fighter and this is the side-scrolling one. So let's start with uh, that. Standard? Listen, Rick. <laughs> am, am I Rick? They're after the treasure. Oh, not the medallion. Let's go. Whoa, A to jump really high. B to kick. Oh, it's just, it's very much like the old, literally the game just called Kung Fu. Oh. Uh, well, I have the fireball now. Uh, looks like you have limited fireball against the swamp monster. Okay. Game looks nice. No. Ow. Is, is there anything else I can do? Down forward punch. No, it's just sort of standard beat-em-up. Okay, so what does the end down there mean? Oh. Okay, so the end down there is how much, uh... Fireball I have left, I'm guessing. Let's see. I got the circle. Don't know what it does, but it doesn't seem to do anything, really. Oh, we found the temple. And we found the potion. And I have taken a lot of damage. Can't get it. Oh, I walked through the door. Shirokaku Kung Fu, born China. Oh, and this is the other part of it. Oh, God. Oh, and it's really bad. Oh, no. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, you have to start the whole thing. Oh, dear. So, the controls uh, for this part are totally fine. Bit stiff, but not any way that's going to, like, ruin the game. But for that fighting game section, they were so stiff, I couldn't do anything. And then you have to start this over. Oh, jeez. Let's, uh, let's hope that was just... I was confused about what to do. I did notice a circle appearing on the enemy's, uh, foot. Maybe that's the, uh, what is it? Like, the weak point mechanic that the game is known for? Okay, let's go off to Born China. How do I... Okay. How do I defend? Oh, this is so awkward. Oh, I do not like this. What's that? Get it! Okay, it's gone forever. My hubris. Oh! Oh, that potion I picked up, I can actually use. How do you block? Okay, hang on. I have to go look up a guide to this because this is so, like, borderline unplayable. Give me a sec. Oh. 
Boy, oh boy. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's not too bad, but it is bad. Ow. So, the gimmick with these is that you have to hit the direction. So, up is to defend your face. Uh, left and right is to defend your body. Down is to defend your legs. But look how much health he has compared to me. This is going to take forever. Okay. Oh, I do not like this at all. This is no good. Breathe Go to hell, teacher! <laughs> Carefully and try again. So, wait! I, whoa, whoa, whoa! I was just starting to figure it out a little bit and you started it over? I must be doing something wrong. Hang on, I'm, I'll take his advice. Let's look at the instruction booklet again. You know what? I read the instruction booklet again and it didn't help at all. Oh, there's a spin kick at least. Gotta say, I'm really not digging this. This is so... I get that it's trying to do something like strategic, but man, it is failing badly. Because it gives you just a split second to react. I actually didn't mind the first part of the game. The, uh, the beat-em-up was fine, but this is just taking it to just a total halt. Apparently, there's also a way to transform into the Flying Master, which is like a superhero, but it looks like the gameplay remains the exact same. You know what this is like? It's like a fighting game for a Tiger Electronics system. Oh, it's so... it's so, You could easily put this on Tiger Electronics. Okay, one thing I do want to check. We're going to reset and see what the 1v1 mode is like. Although I have a feeling it's not going to be that much better. One player. Standard. Medium. Uh, I'd like to be the wrestler. Three match. Oh, God, you again. <laughs> the wrestler's gigantic. Okay, yeah, it's the exact same, and it's terrible. And the fact that they just throw you the potion, it just means victory's inevitable as long as you just keep chipping away at them. But it's gonna take forever. I feel like there's nothing else to say. Frankly, this fighting simulator should have just focused on the non-fighting part. If this had been like a full beat-em-up, I think I would have enjoyed it more. But yeah, this is just... Oh, God. I'm going back to Street Fighter VI. Maybe they should just focus on one game being good before they take the big leap with two. This is kind of the funny thing about this game. Had it just been the first part, the beat-em-up, I probably would have looked back on it as being a fairly solid game, if not fantastic. But then the second part came in, and things changed significantly. See, the beat-em-up portion really was totally fine. The controls were a touch stiff, and maybe the game didn't do anything super groundbreaking, but for walking to the side and beating up losers, you could certainly do worse. Plus, the music was fun and the graphics were nicely done. Not much to complain about for that half of the game, really. That's because we're saving all of our complaints for the fighting game portion, because my god was it bad. It had some of the stiffest controls I've ever felt, with barely any freedom to really control how your character reacted. And the weak point mechanic, while interesting, was terribly executed. There was so little time to hit the weak point, while the enemy could hit me instantly. The life bars were overly long, the game kept giving me potions to prolong things, and just when I thought I was figuring it out, it interrupted me to tell me to read the booklet, then restarted the fight. Supposedly there's a way to play as the flying warrior during this section, but I don't see how that would improve things. Really, I don't see a single way they could have done the one-on-one -on -one fighting any worse. So while a part of the game is a completely acceptable beat-em-up, the meat of the game is so terrible that I can't recommend it in the least. For a game called Fighting Simulator, this one fails at the very first hurdle of simulating any kind of fun fighting. There's just really nothing good about- Oh, shut up! And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.